times it didn't look like it was going to happen. But at the end of the day, we got 314 members of the House of Representatives, actually a few more Democrats than Republicans, uh, to agree to that debt limit resolution. It tells me that, again, it shouldn't have to be that way, but there are times when we work together, we can still do big things in the United States of America, and our democracy is still functional for anybody out there, China or Russia or anyone who would rather autocracy uh, be the stronger force in the world. I think it was a reminder that democracy is still uh, able to function. When I took office, we had no plan B. We really had no plan A. Nothing was working. All we had was waste here at San Onofre with nowhere to send it. The waste here is the symptom. The problem is there's nowhere to send any of the nations spend nuclear fuel. So what I started, or when I started 2019, we empowered a group of local community leaders and we asked them for their, their input, their recommendations. And they gave us great recommendations, and we've acted on virtually all of them. One was to engage with a new group of members across the aisle, Republicans and Democrats in Congress, to engage on spent nuclear fuel. We started the Spent Nuclear Fuel Caucus because a lot of people that were involved in the policies originally are no longer in Congress. And now we have a group of about 25 that meets, that discusses these issues, that acknowledges the challenges of having a plan. And I'm very proud to say we have a plan. Another recommendation was to look at best practices internationally, places like Finland and Canada and elsewhere where they've been able to actually get stuff done when it comes to figuring out uh, a storage site or multiple sites. 11.6 million, we got a couple years ago to stabilize the current plus situation. So critically important that we do that as we consider the longer term. 9.83 million for North County Transit to modernize the train systems and crossings throughout North County, 30 and a half million from the infrastructure law, another one and a half million before that, or sand, sand, that's a lot of sand by the way, about a million cubic yards of sand in Encinitas and Solana Beach. Critically important that we do that and that we have a long-term plan. And we were able to, to now have in place a 50-year sand replenishment plan with the Army Corps of Engineers, both for Encinitas and Solana Beach, and up in San Clemente as well. Because if we want our rail corridor to be functional, you're only as strong as your weakest links. Right now, the weakest links are here in Del Mar and up in San Clemente. You've been following what's happening up there. 